What's going on, guys? Way from Revolution here in Singapore, Nicolas Rudez, the CEO of Frank Mueller. How are you, sir? Hi, Way. I'm very well. So glad to be back in Singapore, finally, Indeed. after all this time. So uh, how has your experience in Singapore been so far? Lovely, as always. And uh, it's great to see our clients again, and it's great to get to know uh, Cortina as well. So we're very happy to be uh, here. Fantastic. You know, I had the pleasure of seeing you in Watchland uh, in Geneva, but you know, during the watch fair, it's always kind of brief, you know, so it's now- it's Very intense. <laughs> extremely intense, yeah. And, but it was also a wonderful moment because it was the 30th anniversary of Frank Mueller. Thank you, you know? correct. Uh, how did that make you feel to, to be able to witness that, to be part of that? Well, it was a wonderful feeling and uh, it was uh, fantastic to welcome all of our clients from all around the world. But we missed a lot of our Japanese clients and the Chinese and uh, Hong Kong as well. But the atmosphere was great and we had Frank with us, so yeah. everyone was happy yeah. to see him. He was tearing up the dance floor at one point, as I recall. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it's good. I mean, and it's a nice moment to celebrate watchmaking. Um, you know, there's so much resurgence and interest in, in, in timepieces, and especially in terms of what you guys are creating. So tell us a little bit about what you brought for us today to take a look at. Well, because um, it was our 30th anniversary in Geneva, it was important for us to bring this new, exciting creations uh, to Singapore. That's why we are doing the WPHH for the first time in Singapore that here is. today. And we have some amazing pieces, as you will see. Right. But the main, the main one would be the uh, Grand Central Tourbillon in the 36 millimeter, the one that you're wearing on your wrist right. in black. And we have lots of other declinations uh, here with the blue tourbillon. I have to well. say the size is amazing in this watch, right? It's a perfect size, I think. Yeah, for it's so Asia. wearable, right? Very comfortable. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, depth uh, within the, the, um, the dial. You know, so I had the pleasure of seeing this watch last year and I was already really, really blown away by it. I love the sort of, like as you were saying, the fact that you've got this massive cage that's rotating in the center of the dial, uh, this balance wheel that's like um, pulsating underneath that. And then of course you're, you're wondering, well, you know, where are the hands, right? Because this thing is occupying yes, the entire real estate. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how you integrated the hands into this watch. Well, that had to be done with uh, some uh, roulement à billes system. Ball bearings, yeah. Correct, thank you very much. And technically it was very difficult because there was no more space to put the hands. And uh, doing it in the Curve X uh, case is even more complicated. Yeah, I mean, I know you have like so little uh, real estate within the watch to play with as well, especially since the cage feels like it's almost like a, a touching the sapphire crystal. It's really cool because, you know, I just realized actually you've got three central hands because the, the you've got the hour and minute, which are at the perimeter of the cage, but then the cage itself acts as a second hand as well. So, Correct. Yeah. It's, it's so um, wonderfully sort of logical in terms of the way it, it's thought out, but it's just really cool to look at as well. Thank you. Tell and very comfortable to wear with the integrated strap. Absolutely. And I love how, you know, this, all the small details because I know this watch then, you know, gave you um, the inspiration for the new Vanguard as well. Uh, but the idea of putting the bezel underneath the sapphire crystal, the integration of the strap, as you were saying, um, all of it just creates a much more streamlined watch. It's actually really ergonomic. Thank you. And at 36 mm, uh, it's phenomenal on the wrist, right? It's the correct size for the South Asian market. For sure. And um, tell us a little bit about this incredible piece unique that you guys did with a artist called Hom Noyen. Absolutely. Well, this is the unique piece that we're presenting uh, in uh, Singapore for the first time. It's going to be traveling around the world right. in uh, lots of different places. It's going to Qatar afterwards and it's going to the States. Hom Nguyen is a French artist. Um, of course, he's a Vietnamese uh, origin. He was adopted um, in France. He's, he lives in Paris. And the story is that um, when he was in his 20s, he was very um, much in love with the Frank Miller watches and he hesitated in buying a, a, a crazy house or a master banker. Right. So he went for the master banker. Classic. Very yeah. classic, but beautiful. Yes. And as an artist, uh, life is not always uh, easy, as you, you can imagine. And uh, a few years afterwards, he had no more money and he had to bring his watch to the Pizzaiolo owner and uh, he exchanged the watch for one year's worth of uh, food. And that allowed wow. him to, to, to live, to continue his um, creative process. Right. And of course, a few years later, he was again, uh, well, selling his paintings uh, very, very well. And he was able to buy back the watch from the Pizzaiolo. Right. So that's why he's, uh, his heart is with Frank Miller and that's why we are doing this uh, great uh, collaboration with him. This is a unique piece. It's a double mystery tourbillon in the Curvex uh, 8880. And the watch will be sold at auction in, um, in September of this year. 
And we already had a one offer uh, here in Singapore for 333,000 uh, uh, Swiss francs. Bravo. And uh, the proceeds will be going to a uh, good, good cause, which is an orphanage in uh, Vietnam. Tell us about like uh, how, how this project uh, was initiated. I know that you're a big fan of, of this artist. Well, yes, personally I am. And we also have um, a manager in our production who's a friend of his. And that's how the collaboration uh, started. And, and from your perspective, you know, for um, a, a huge you know, luxury watch brand like Frank Mueller, like why is it important to have initiatives like to kind of give back to him? Well, because they're great uh, talking points. It's a good uh, charity. This uh, watch will come in a very big box on which uh, the artist has um, spent two years painting in beautiful uh, faces of young, young children. It's very well um, done. I remember when you showed me his, uh, his Instagram uh, page, I was really impressed with uh, his, his creativity. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And for him to actually draw this uh, face on this dial is uh, quite astonishing because he's used to doing much bigger paintings. Well, he's going to go up in, um, in the world. And did it take him a lot of experimentation to perfect this technique on the dial? Or like Absolutely. Yeah. It took him uh, quite a few uh, trials to do. And you see, because of the rotating discs at the top, um, the, visit, the, the face of the person will only be fully visible every 12 hours. Oh, that's cool. That's amazing. The delicacy with which he's, like, he, he draws is, is quite extraordinary. Yes. Yeah. And actually, when you look at it, there's, it's almost, almost feels kind of like three-dimensional, right? Correct. So, Nicholas, I happen to notice that you have uh, another 36 uh, Central Tomoyon here as well, but one that is um, also showcases your master uh, craftsmanship related to setting. Absolutely, because the co-founder of the brand is a uh, diamond setter, right. and that's why we are very creative in our uh, diamonds uh, collection. So here you have the uh, CX Grand Central Tourbillon with a full uh, diamond set. Wow, <laughs> impressive. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's something that people don't realize is that Bartons actually, has, he started his, uh, his, his business as a, as a gem setter. Absolutely. Right? He started his career as a diamond setter. He was doing the diamond settings for all the big brands right. back then. And that's how he got to meet uh, Frank. Incredible. That's a stunning watch I'm, like, on the wrist. I'm sure it like... Uh, Very nice. Even ladies are buying this in Singapore. I think that's kind of the cool thing also, like a watch like this kind of occupies this beautiful like Sinosure that is like very attractive to both genders, right? Well, certainly in Singapore, but I would say in general around the world that men have started to adopt wearing gem set watches as well, and gem yes. set complicated watches, yes. watches, which I think is really cool. But then also because in Singapore, you've got women who have really a lot of knowledge, technical knowledge of watches. Absolutely. The idea of um, you know, a central flying tourbillon um, with uh, you know like this mysterious indication for the hour and minute um, with a gem set case, it's, you know, it's pretty appealing, right? Well, this brings us to the next uh, limited edition here in uh, Singapore for Cortina. Right. Magnificent rainbow skeleton round 42 millimeter. Wow. With the extra uh, stones on the lugs as well. Oh, uh, yes, I see. So the, the sapphires extend all the way into the yes. lugs as well. That and you've got one of each, each of the colorways in, into each one Correct. of the four lugs. So it's really stunning. So limited to 10 pieces. Right. Yeah. And the skeletonization of the movement, of course, sublime. All hand uh, oh. angled. Yes. Someone has to spend a lot of time. Correct. Doing that. Beautiful. Piece. The transparency of the watch is incredible. And would you say that this watch is also something that it can be equally worn by like a... Absolutely. A, right. It's pretty cool. It is. Uh, I'd, I'd wear that. <laughs> you know? And the difficulty is finding the correct uh, stones to right. find the correct uh, declination. Fantastic. And we have also another limited edition, which if I'm not mistaken, comes in three different configurations Correct. for Cortina. Correct. Right. So here we have the Color Dream Skeleton. Right. It's uh, aluminum colored. 43 millimeter, perfect size for Asia. We have uh, three versions. This is the one with the uh, yellow aluminum on yeah. the sides. We have, uh, we have it in red and orange as well, in 20 pieces each. There's a playfulness to it that I just find very appealing. You know, first of all, I love the fact you took advantage of the, the, the fact that aluminum can be anodized in these very vibrant colors. And if I'm not mistaken, the case is a combination of carbon fiber with this um, anodized aluminum center. And then this wonderful skeletonization of the dial. You can see the balance wheel there, barrel. In fact, you can tell the, the watch is fully wound because the barrel is, is. And then I see the words here in, in colorful letters, seven days. So I'm assuming the seven days of power reserve Indeed, as well. Absolutely. Phenomenal. And the matching stitches with the yellow aluminum. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the strap as well. Yeah. 
Very cool. And like these watches are so easy to wear as well because they're so light. Exactly. Like this, the Grand Central Tour on my wrist right now, it's just like, I've forgotten I'm wearing it. <laughs> be careful, I might. You know? <laughs> I'm joking. I don't remember. <laughs> we can't get away with stuff like that in Singapore. You know? <laughs> and, and tell us about, okay, so you know that I am a huge, huge fan of your Tour Violas, right? And you have two of the watches that I love discussing the most here. The first is, of course, Revolution 3, triple axis Tour Viol, And you've got one in lightweight carbon fiber. Let's take a look at that, man. Absolutely. Here it is. Wow. Stunning piece. Dude, that's Triple awesome. X tourbillon. <laughs> I love that. And Frank was the first to do the double X tourbillon, the triple X yes. tourbillon, as you know. Yes, I know that the tagline is Master of Complications, but it can certainly also be Master, Master of Tourbillons, exactly. right? Exactly. Thank um, you. And I love how you've got this like dome sapphire crystal to allow this like uh, on both sides of yeah, the watch. Yeah, yeah this three-dimensional uh, tourbillon on three axes to sort of really uh, take take advantage of all of, of the beauty that you can see from every single Absolutely. side. Right? Yeah. With retrograde uh, indicators. Yes. Yeah, so you've got two retrograde indicators, one for each of the axes of, of, of rotation. Ah, one just jumped, actually. So that's the 60-second one. Correct. Right. My eyes said so bad nowadays. <laughs> and then you've got the eight-minute one as well. And I think the last one's one hour. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. That's a killer watch. Stunning. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're going to go from the Revolution 3, which I have to admit is already a pretty damn stunning watch. And I love the fact that this is carbon fiber. And I like the fact that it's got luminous hands, so it's kind of a sports watch. It is, to it is. possibly one, like to me, one of the greatest, if not the greatest tour tourbillons created in the modern era. The holy grail of tourbillons. Yeah, and, and this is a watch called uh, the Thunderbolt. So tell us a little Indeed. bit about this, man. Well, that's the world's uh, fastest tourbillon, making one full rotation every five seconds. So 12 times faster than a normal uh, tourbillon which uh, technically is uh, incredibly difficult to achieve with four barrels, two pairs on each side. Yes. I mean, it's incredible. The first, the movement architecture is actually stunning to behold. And of course, it's a little bit reminiscent of the, the Gigant Tourbillon because it also shares the same barrel configuration and gear train. But where it all becomes different is when you look at this Tourbillon. First of all, it's the world's fastest rotating Tourbillon, five seconds for a full rotation. But then what's so cool about it, it's not like you put a tiny Tourbillon there. It's a massive Tourbillon. The package is huge. The balance is huge. And for those of you who really love the technical details of watches, what I've always loved about this is that traditionally in a tourbillon, you have a fixed fourth wheel and then the escapement is rotating around that, right? It's kind of recuperating the energy as it's being borne across uh, the perimeter thanks to the tourbillon. But here you have a fixed escapement wheel, this incredible skeletonized escapement wheel, and you actually see the lever of the escapement engaging with it and driving the whole um, cage forward. It is like one of the most brilliant concepts, you know? Thank I mean, you. tell it us is. a little bit about this, you know? Like, well, this was developed with uh, Pierre-Michel Gollet at the time. Right. And um, any person who claims to be a watch collector should have I a- totally uh, Thunderbolt in his collection. I totally agree. So guys, Pierre-Michel Golay, I mean, you probably know, uh, you know as well, but he's a legend in the watch industry. He's the guy that created the uh, the Grand Sonnerie when he was over at, uh, at, at Gerald Genta. Um, but he's, yeah, I mean, Google his name, you'll see all of his accomplishments, but this is amazing. And I, you know, I've seen, there's a lot of tourbillons in the market, but this one is just one of the most breathtaking to behold. I agree, yeah. I agree. And you talk about it beautifully, so thank you. I talk about it because I, I, I'm very passionate about it and I have probably a secret ambition to own one one day. It's, <laughs> well, it's like the, <laughs> the ultimate like kinetic ballet, you know, to see this watch, it, it, you know, there's so many, watches that have a, a lot of animation on the dial, right, when it comes to tourbillons, but this by far is the most animated. Absolutely. You put this down on a table next to any other tourbillon and people are gonna be like, what's that? Exactly. I wanna know what that is. I yeah. agree. I absolutely love and it. And to make it even more beautiful, it was uh, mounted upside down. Right. And that means the our hand is, um, is inversed. Ah, okay, fantastic. Amazing. I absolutely love this watch. What does a watch like this cost? The price for this is uh, two hundred and forty thousand Swiss. Swiss francs. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's okay, right? Like, I, I think. Well, for such a unique piece. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, you can't compare it to anything because there's nothing else like it. Right? Correct. And and so I guess the last watch we should talk about is you know we're talking about how the co-founder of Frank Mueller, Vartan Samikas, um, is a master in gem setting, and I think we've got a watch here that really kind of showcases that competence. I agree with this uh, invisible um, baguette set. Vanguard V45. Wow. Absolutely stunning. I feel that this is a watch that it's probably easier to wear in Singapore or Dubai. Correct. <laughs> than in London <laughs> than or in Paris. London. Yes, unfortunately. exactly. Uh, we, were, we were kind of remarking earlier that unfortunately um, Amir Khan, who's like a, a very you know, well regarded professional boxer, Absolutely. was robbed of his Frank Mueller Vanguard. You know, uh, so sad. Yeah, terrible. 
but still, you know, like it's it's sometimes it's a little intimidating to to, to wander around a capital city with a, a really beautiful watch nowadays. And it's a shame we should uh, get to that point. Yes, exactly. But it, I do like the fact that if you're in Singapore, you can wear, wear whatever you want. Any, at any time. <laughs> exactly. I agree. <laughs> I've actually seen people in um, uh, hawker centers, which are like our you know food courts, yeah, yeah, yeah. use their watch to hold their place. Which well, I, <laughs> and that's a watch is to be worn, and uh, exactly. you can do that here in Singapore. And enjoy. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you so much for showing these watches to me. Um, I just have to say I love them. You know, as you know, I'm a Tourbillon fan, so especially the Revolution 3 and the insane Thunderbolt. I mean, that watch, I want to, one day that watch and I will be connected, I feel. Well, that's very kind of you, and thank you very much for coming to our WPHH for the first time here in uh, Singapore. Absolutely. And we look forward to coming back again thank in you, the sir. near future. Good to see you. Pleasure is mine, sir.